Hello, University of Montevallo residents, and welcome to campus. My name is Savannah Crenshaw, and I'm the Residence Life Coordinator at the University of Montevallo. I hope this video finds you well and that you're safely back on campus or in the process of traveling to campus. Typically, at the beginning of each year, we have a meeting with the entire building to go over the policies, guidelines, and procedures for living in the residence halls. However, this year we're not able to do so due to social distancing guidelines. So I'll be going over the policies and procedures in this video. This information is also in writing on your desk when you move into the residence hall. Feel free to ask your RA if you have any questions or concerns after watching this video and reviewing all of the guidelines. Each floor has a resident assistant or an RA. Your RA is here to be a resource for you while you're living on campus while also enforcing the housing rules. RAs are here to assist you, but they cannot be a confidential resource. What this means is if you disclose information to your RA, they will use discretion and they won't go around telling your business, but there are certain things that they have to report because they're a mandatory reporter. These reports go to official university personnel. Things like harm to yourself or harm to others, or if you know about someone else harming themselves or harming others will be reported. The Counseling Center is a great place to discuss or report issues and maintain confidentiality. One RA in each building is on duty every night from 6 p.m. until 8 a.m. This means that they do rounds of the building at 6 p.m. and after visitation hours have ended, and that they'll be within 10 minutes of the building at all times. The duty schedule will be posted with the RA's name and phone number. Check the office door in your building to see who's on duty each night. COVID-19 policies. There are three main policies that we have implemented this year to help keep everyone safe in the residence halls. The first policy is that all residents must wear a face covering or mask while they're in their residence hall at all times unless they are in their bedroom. Residents that are non-compliant of this policy will be documented and the student conduct sanctions are as follows. The first time, they will have a $25 fine, a meeting with the Director of Student Conduct, a formal warning, and a meeting with the Residence Life Coordinator. The second time, they will have a $35 fine, a meeting with the Director of Student Conduct, conduct probation, an educational sanction, and a meeting with the Director of Housing. The third time, they may be removed from living on campus. The second policy that we've implemented to keep everyone safe in the residence halls is that there will be no outside visitation privileges. So anyone that does not live in the building cannot come in. You may still visit among residents living in your building. This, these visitation privileges will be limited to four people per room and to regular visitation hours. Social distancing and capacity limits will also be enforced in the building. So you should stay at least six feet apart from residents when you're in the common areas or in the hallways and the public spaces like the laundry rooms, the TV rooms, the parlors, all of that will have capacity limits that will be posted. Building amenities. Capacity limits, social distancing, and masks are all required in all of the building amenities. Your building amenities are posted on your community expectations and guidelines list that will be left on your desk when you move in. These differ from each building, but include things like the community kitchen, the laundry room, parlors, study rooms, TV rooms, that kind of thing. FYI boards are located throughout the building, so keep an eye on those because your RA will, will post important information uh, about events or updates in the residence halls on the FYI boards. Check your UM email on a regular basis. Important information from housing as well as campus announcements will go out through your university email. All, judi all judicial notifications are also sent through email. Programming. Typically, RAs host fun events throughout the year in the residence halls. This year, we're still going to try to do that as much as possible, but it'll just look a little bit different due to capacity limits, social distancing, and mask. But we still will do our best to have fun events in the halls for you. Roommate agreements. Work together with your roommate to fill out your roommate agreement that's left on your desk. Roommate agreements are in place to start a conversation to ensure everyone feels comfortable and safe in their living environment. 
Understanding and compromise are important skills as you transition into adulthood, so keep that in mind when you're filling out your roommate agreement. Let your RA know if you would like them to mediate or to help with the discussion of your roommate agreement. Slide the completed roommate agreement under your RA's door by Friday, August 28th. You are responsible for cleaning your own room or suite and taking out your own trash. All trash should go to the dumpster. If your trash is left in the hallway, you will be held responsible. Regular health and safety checks will take place throughout the year. These checks will be unannounced and your RA as well as another RA will come to check your room. Review the expectations in the residence hall handbook on page seven. You may report maintenance concerns by submitting a work order to the physical plant at myschoolbuilding.com. The instructions to do so are on page 15 of the residence hall handbook. We encourage you to purchase renter's insurance if you're not already covered by your guardian's homeowner in homeowner's insurance. You can do so at nssi.com to cover any property damage and to financially protect yourself. To complete a threat assessment report, go to this link below and click on the link report concerning worrisome or threatening behaviors. You must provide your email login and password to complete the report. You are responsible for reading and understanding everything in the residence hall handbook. Not being aware is not an excuse to not follow a policy. If you have any questions, see your RA. If you violate a policy, you will be documented, which means your RA will fill out a form that will then go to the housing office. The residence life coordinator, that's me, will send you a response letter to which you can respond that, yes, I violated this policy, or no, and I'd like to have a meeting with you. At that point, I will send you a notification that we've scheduled a meeting and we will go from there. Please remember, all, all RAs are required to report violations. Underage drinking is not allowed and cannot be tolerated. It is illegal in the state of Alabama. If we find alcohol, we will pour it out and all residents will be documented. Even those that claim to have not been drinking will be documented and held responsible for being in the presence of alcohol. The housing office and or student conduct will follow up. Weapons are not allowed in the residence hall. See page 18 of the residence hall handbook for more information. Smoking and vaping are not permitted in the building. There are areas that they are permitted at least 25 feet away from the building. Please do not throw your cigarette butts on the ground. Residents will be held responsible for anything that takes place in their room or suite and they are responsible for the behavior of their guest. Visitation. Until further notice, no outside visitors are allowed in the residence hall. Visitation within the building is limited to four people per room, and visitation hours are from 12 p.m. to 12 a.m. Sunday through Thursday, and from 12 p.m. to 2 a.m. Friday and Saturday. Please remember, a roommate's right to privacy will always take priority over the privilege to entertain guests. Please try to work out an arrangement that is agreeable to everyone, but see your RA if you're having any problems. Quiet hours. Quiet hours are Sunday through Thursday from 8 p.m. until 10 a.m. and Friday through Saturday, 12 midnight until 10 a.m. All other hours are courtesy hours. Studying and sleeping take precedent over other noisy activities. Music and noise levels should be kept low. If there is an issue with a neighbor being loud, first confront them yourself and ask them to quiet down. If there is still a problem, then ask your RA to intervene. No burning candles or incense. Candles are not allowed in the residence halls, even if the wick has not been burned. See page 17 of the residence hall handbook for more information. There should be no solicitation of any kind. No salesmen or people putting flyers under the doors will be tolerated. If you see people, call the housing office or the Montevallo Police Department. This includes things like Pizza Hut coupons or selling makeup or anything like that. There should be no posting of any flyers on the halls without permission from the housing office. Approved flyers will be stamped with a specific date for posting. Vandalism. The residence hall is your home for the next nine months. Please take responsibility to let your RA or the housing office know when things are being torn up. This only makes the rent go higher and makes the building look bad. 
There will be no tolerance for violence. We want to keep a safe community, so let someone know if there's a problem. You can be removed from the residence halls for violence. You are expected to comply with the request of university officials. This includes showing a valid photo ID when being written up or handing over your M card. Do not prop doors open. If you do so, an alarm will go off. You must carry your keys and your M card with you at all times. This is how you will swipe into the residence halls and into the cafeteria. The University Escort Service is available by the UN Police Department after dark if you feel unsafe. Please call 205-665-6155 to request the escort service. Do not let your friends use your access card, even if they are resident in the same building as you. If your key card is lost, a replacement is $15 at the Solution Center. If your key to your room is lost, the cost of a lock change is $85 or $170 for Newhall. If you are locked out in your room between 8 a.m. and 5 p.m. between Monday and Friday, you can get a lockout key from the Housing and Residence Life Office located in Main Hall, West Wing. The office phone number for the Housing Office is 205-665-6235. If you are locked out between 6 p.m. and 8 a.m., call the RA on duty, which will be listed on the office door. If you are locked out during the day on the weekend, call the campus police at 205-665-6155. Safety awareness tips. Avoid going out alone after dark. Stay in groups and have a buddy system. Walk in well-lit areas and plan your route. If you are of age and choose to drink, practice safe, responsible drinking. Keep your cell phone handy. Lock up your residence hall room as well as your car. Do not let non-residents into the residence hall and never give your ID out to someone. Avoid parking and walking alone after dark. If you must do so, you can contact the police department at 205-665-6155 for University of Montevallo Police Escort Service. Trust your instincts. If a situation seems uncomfortable, leave that situation immediately. Fire alarms. Everyone must exit the building during a fire alarm. See your community expectations and guideline for your designated gathering spot. You're responsible for taking action in the event of a fire alarm. The RA is not responsible for reminding you to leave the building. Tornado warnings. If there is a tornado warning when you're in the building, you should go to the lower level of the building until the warning has expired. You are responsible for taking action in the event of a tornado warning. The RA is not responsible for reminding you. Self-governance encourages students to become responsible, respectful, and accountable for preventing your actions from infringing on the rights of others. The goal is that everyone will respect each other so everyone can have a positive and enjoyable living experience. This is important now more than ever as our specific COVID-19 related policies are to keep everyone safe. Thank you for watching the Community Expectations and Guidelines video. Please see your RA if you have any questions. I hope you have a great year and go Falcons!